on section 1.5, we talked about how to graph an inequality on a coordinate plane. Uh, that's the part where you graph the boundary on a coordinate plane, and then you have to do the test point, usually test point zero, zero, just figure out which side of the boundary to shade. Uh, this section talks about a system of inequalities in which you're going to graph two inequalities on the same coordinate plane, and then you're going to see where the two inequalities overlap. The place where the two inequalities overlap is going to be the solution to the system. So if we graph y is greater than 2x minus 4, so we would put a point on the negative 4, and then the slope is 2, so from that point we'll go up 2 and over 1, place another point there, up 2 over 1, and so on. And then we connect those, and remember since it is less than, and it's not less than or equal to, that we're going to connect those with a dotted line. So I'll run a dotted line through that, straight edge preferred. And then we've got to figure out which side of that dotted line do we need to shade by doing a test point. So we will use test point zero, zero. We will plug in zero for the Y, and we will plug in zero for the X. And is that true or not? Is zero greater than two times zero minus four? Well, since 2 times 0 minus 4 is negative 4, is 0 greater than negative 4? Yes, it is. So test point 0, 0 is right here. It is on the left side of the boundary line, so that means we are going to shade the left side of that boundary line. So I'll take out my highlighter, and I'm going to use a yellow highlighter here, and I'm going to shade that entire side. And there we go. So that's y is greater than 2x minus 4. Then we're going to do the same thing for the second part, which is y is less than or equal to negative 0.5x plus 3. I'm going to go ahead and change that negative 0.5 to a, since it's my slope, I'm going to go ahead and change that to a fraction. So it's negative 1 half x plus 3. It'd be easier to graph the fraction, uh, fractional slope than it would be as a decimal. So I'll put a point at the positive 3. And with a slope of negative 1 half, I'll go down 1 and over 2, place another point, go down 1, over 2, do that a few times. And this time I'm going to use a solid line because, remember solid because it is equal to. So we'll do a solid line this time through those points. So it'll be about like this. And then we've got to figure out which side of that line to shade. So... I can still use test point zero, zero because it's not on the line. So is zero less than or equal to negative one half times zero plus three? Well, negative one half times zero plus three is just three. So is zero less than or equal to three? That's also a yes. So since test point zero, zero is below that line, uh, I'm going to shade below that line. And I'll use blue highlighter to shade below it so it'll look like this. And what you'll notice is that what happens when you have yellow and blue? What does yellow and blue combine to make? Well, it combines to make green. So you can see as I color the entire part of this one that the overlap where the yellow and the blue overlap makes green and where it overlaps is actually the solution to the system. So every point that's in the green area is a solution to the system, which means it works for both of the uh, inequalities in the original system. There in the white area, so over here in the white area, this part over here, uh, doesn't work for either one of them because it wasn't shaded at all. But the solution to the system is going to be where they overlap and that's what we're looking for. So colored pencils work pretty good. Um, highlighters work great. As you can see, if you got a yellow and a blue highlighter, they overlap to make green. Uh, but we're looking to see where is it colored twice? Where is the double shaded area? And that's the solution. Let's try another one. So we have y is less than or equal to negative 2x plus 5, and y is greater than negative 1 fourth x minus 6. So y is less than or equal to negative 2x plus 5, we're going to start at 5, place a point there. The slope is negative 2, so we'll go down 2 over 1, down 2 over 1, and so on. 
We will use the solid line as our boundary because it is equal to. And we can use test point zero, zero. So is zero less than or equal to negative two times zero plus five? Is that true or not? Well, negative two times zero plus five is just five. So is zero less than or equal to five? Sure it is, that's a yes. So which side do we shade? Test point zero, zero is below and to the left of that boundary line. So we will shade below and to the left of it. And I will shade it in yellow. And it looks like that. And then we will do the same thing with the second inequality. Uh, it is negative one fourth x minus six, so I will put a point at negative six. And with a slope of negative one fourth, I will go down one to the right four. One, two, three, four. There's my second point. Go down one to the right four. And we will use a dotted line because it is not equal to. This so runs right through there. And when we do test point zero, zero, is zero greater than negative one-fourth times zero minus six. Is that true? Well, negative one-fourth times zero minus six is negative six, so is zero greater than negative six? That is a yes. Zero is greater than negative six, so we will shade above it. And I will do that in blue. I'm gonna shade the entire thing. And as I finish coloring it in, you can see that the overlapped area over there in green, where the yellow and blue mixed together to make green, that is the solution to the system. Okay, so let's look at this one. This one looks a little bit different. Y is greater than or equal to X plus five. So the Y intercept is five. And the slope is one because there's a one in front of that X. So that's gonna be up one over one, up one over one, and we will use a solid line. And we'll do a test point, zero, zero. So is zero greater than or equal to zero plus five? Well, zero plus five is five. So is zero greater than or equal to five? Well, that's a big no. It is not greater than five. So test point zero, zero is below and to the right of the line, but we got a no. So that means I need to shade on the other side, so I will shade above and to the left this time because test point zero, zero did not work. I don't wanna shade that side. And now we'll do uh, the second part. So y is less than x minus four, so we'll go down to negative four. Its slope is still one, so we'll go up one over one again, up one over one and so on, and we'll use a dotted line. And when I do test point zero, zero on that one, is zero less than zero minus four? Well, zero minus four is negative four. That is also a no. So I don't wanna shade the zero, zero side of the blue line either. I wanna shade the opposite of that one, so I will shade below it. And where is the overlap on this one? B, there is no overlap because there is actually no ordered pair that works for both inequalities at the same time. So this is a case that when there is no overlap, there is actually no, oops, wrong color there. There is actually no solution to this because no overlap. No overlap, no solution. No solution. Here's one more, and honestly, these should be some of the easier ones to do, but it seems to confuse people because the, each inequality doesn't have both an X and a Y, especially the first one. It says X is less than the three. Remember when it's in X equals or X greater than or X less than form, that means it is a vertical line. These are the ones that should be fairly easy to solve. So X is less than three is a vertical line that goes through the X axis at three. The boundary line looks just like this through the x-axis, a vertical line at three. 
When you do test point zero, zero on this one, you don't have a zero to plug in for Y, but we do have a zero we can plug in for X. So it's just simply, is zero less than three? Is that true? Sure it is, zero is less than three. So we will shade to the side that contains zero, zero, which is going to be the left side. Like so. And then we will do the same thing for y is greater than or equal to negative 4. Well, there's not a x in this one. It's in the form of y equals something. When it's in the form of y equals something, it is a horizontal line through the y-axis at negative 4. So it'll be a solid line running right through here, through the y-axis at negative 4. And then we can still do test point 0, 0. Is 0 greater than or equal to negative 4? Sure it is. That is a yes. So zero, zero is above the blue solid line, so we will shade that. And just like we've had with three of the four others that we've done so far, there is an overlap. And you can see the overlap turns that very nice shade of green that we're looking for when we're using yellow and blue highlighters. And we're done.